grey skies reflected the sombre mood at the naval base. While the tradition of gun salutes dates back centuries in the UK to mark significant national events, there was a sense that this one was different. The military was saying goodbye to one of their own. Prince Philip had a lifelong affiliation with the armed forces, which began as a 17-year-old naval cadet. He rose through the ranks to become Admiral of the Fleet in 1953 and was appointed Field Marshal and Marshal of the Royal Air Force. But he gave up his military career to support the Queen, who in recognition of his long-standing connection with the Royal Navy, conferred on him the title of Lord High Admiral on his 90th birthday. At precisely 1pm, the first round was fired. The salute fired by the Royal Gibraltar Regiment was in tandem with those fired at the Tower of London and by units from all corners of the United Kingdom, including Belfast, Cardiff and Edinburgh. At sea, guns were fired from Royal Navy saluting warships. Gibraltar was the only British overseas territory to join them. For 40 minutes, in wind and rain, silence and reflection. The army fired their salutes with 13-pounder field guns at Woolwich Barracks in London, the same ones used for Prince Philip's wedding to Her Majesty in 1947 and again at the Queen's coronation six years later in 1953. Elsewhere, including Gibraltar, 105mm light guns were fired, a fitting tribute to a man who dedicated his life to service.